Hey everyone. It is late, but I really wanted to come on here and talk about a few things that I feel is important. And I um, heard something in my spirit back in 2016, and it was very clear. And I heard the rapture will be near when you have a certain procedure and I saw myself laying in a hospital bed and I immediately like freaked out because <laughs> I have a I mean I, I don't like hospitals I just I never have because well just some things that happened in the past but that's what I heard that the rapture will be near around your certain procedure, around a certain procedure, and or when you have a certain procedure. And when I, and I, and I just was thinking, oh no, 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 not me. No, I didn't hear that. Must be talking about somebody else because I'm not having no procedure. <laughs> and um, so anyway, you know, that kind of bothered me for a while because I heard it so far, you know, back and I thought about it, you know, once in a while. Well, I don't know if you guys remember me telling you, I think it was in July of this year that I had went to the doctor and the lady that saw me wasn't the doctor, but her name was Ariana. Um, which her name has something to do with Jerusalem, I think. And I remember um, I was kind of scared because she told me I had to have this procedure. And she she's like, have some, have a little faith, right? And I thought, yes, you're right. Uh, but no. And then, so I put that procedure off because I just, oh man, I've never had surgery in my entire life. Never. So here it is, December. Well, I finally had my procedure on Friday, on the 6th. So about a week before my procedure um, in December here, I kept seeing the vision of, of Peter walking on the water towards Jesus. And I was hearing, don't turn to the left and don't turn to the right. Just look at me. Look at Jesus. Look at me. Because I was terrified to do this. And I'm like, but Lord, you know, but I'm getting older and I've never had surgery and I, I can't do this. And you just like, look to me. Do not look to the left or the right. And I saw Peter walking towards him. I remember Peter sunk because he he didn't have he was he just didn't have enough faith that he could do it you know he was in the ocean and that's scary but if he would have kept his eyes on Jesus he wouldn't have sunk so Jesus I just kept seeing that vision over and over and over and over so I thought okay I can do this right I can look to straight to you and I'm not gonna sink um I just kept seeing it over and over. So finally, you know, I get to the hospital and get they call me back and I am so nervous, you guys. I mean, I'm like, oh, I wanted to run out of there. So I, I got on the bed and everything and, you know, they started prepping me with the IV. There was two nurses, you know, and finally after they got all done prepping me, they all, they left and I was in there alone just waiting and I just kept thinking okay Jesus 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 I just kept um, saying his name you know look because I needed to just keep my eyes on him because I was terrified and I kept seeing that you know well all of a sudden somebody pulls back the curtain and it was a male nurse and 
he is at the end of the bed and he says, Hi, my name is Peter and I'm going to be taking you back to surgery. And I just like, tears just started running down my face. And I just looked at him and I don't know what he thought. He was just looking at me like, I don't know, like, I, I mean, come on. What, what's the chances of a, a male nurse named Peter, you know, that's going to take me to surgery? It was just all God just saying, look to me, Jesus, look to me. And I was like so calm then. I was just like totally, totally calm. And then, you know, he wheeled me in there. And, you know, I went through everything. Everything went really good. And I can finally start to eat again. I've been having trouble. I haven't been able to eat for a long time. I've had to drink liquids and eat baby food and stuff. And it's been really, ugh. it's been like I've been in the desert for like 40 days or something, you know, it's been months. And it has brought me closer to God. And I kept hearing, you know, by his stripes, you are healed. And I know that I am healed and I'm going to be totally healed here with everything or when I get there. But anyway, it's December. <coughs> I finally have the procedure. And why did I choose December? I think it's interesting because look at what's happening right now. You know, look what's happening. There's so much going on, like... We don't know if we're going to continue here as a family on, you know, and preach the gospel. We don't know what's going to happen. Um, people are talking about we could go home. Of course, we know the rapture is imminent. It could happen anytime. But, I mean, we could go home on Christmas. We could. I've had several Christmas dreams in the past. Several. Um... One that stands out to me is when I'm in a beautiful, beautiful home, the fireplace, and there's wood everywhere, just beautiful, and a big, long table with a bunch of people, and one of the person that was at the table was somebody that had been deceased for a while, and it was beautiful, and I was looking through this box of, 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 of Christmas trinkets and stuff, and I, um... I found something really special and I took it over by the door and I put it on the wall and it was something, um, some kind of Christmas ornament thing. I can't remember what it looked like exactly, but I remember it was special and I opened the front door and it was snowing and the snow was coming down in these huge flakes and the flakes were all different colors like some of the colors I can't even tell you because I never seen them before but they were like beautiful colors all like rainbow colors of snow heavily flowing and it was so heavenly and peaceful and you know I've had other dreams too and it's been snowing it's weird because you know People are getting a lot of snow everywhere right now. We got people, you know, talking about the rapture like they haven't talked about it before. I know people, I mean, it's like something feels different. Um, there's just something in the air, so to speak. And then you got, you know, the two-state solution going on. That's the biggie right there. We gotta look towards Israel. We have to. Because that's the key to things. And then you know, you know the rest. Um them with Iran and you know, all the boom boom <laughs> nuclear stuff and um it's like it's just how can we not see things starting to unfold? Somebody's going to make a move. And 
I think the rapture is going to happen and then sudden, you know, sudden destruction happens after we leave and then they say peace and, you know, well, they've been saying peace and safety. So, I mean, everywhere they're, they're saying peace and safety and the peace conferences, you know, everywhere. The rapture is going to happen and then sudden destruction is going to happen. So, and then someone's going to step up to the plate. Um, so anyway, I think that a lot of our dreams are coming to pass now. And they, we, you know, a lot of them have been from a long time ago, a long time ago. I mean, I've had other Christmas dreams too, a lot where I'm walking in rubble and something happened and people above me are shopping in a mall. But then there's rubble like destruction. I believe it means earthquake or something or either that or something nuclear. That's what I think. Um, I've had dreams of being in a mall, going up the escalator that kept going up and up and up and it kept, it never ended, just kept going up and up. And I saw my horse Silver Bell up there. I mean, there's I've had a lot of Christmas dreams. And she's passed away too, my horse. Um, so anyway, the real focus is on the procedure and what I heard. And it was Peter in the vision, you know, and... And then Peter took me back to surgery. I mean, God is so amazing. <laughs> He's just so amazing. I mean, <laughs> I just, I was just, if I would have been standing up, I would have fainted. I just, I just started crying. I just, wow, you know. So he took care of me. And I remember just before I fell out, you know, went under, um, I, I remember I was sleeping in a glowing light. I remember I was just in, it was a glowing light. And then they woke me up, you know, um, I said some funny things, that's for sure. But, um, <laughs> I just want to say that I believe the rapture is very close and Jesus is coming. He, I mean, it is 2019, almost 2020. Things can't just keep going on. We're going home. We're going home. We are going home. And Jesus is taking us. He's not going to let things keep going on. He is going to pull us out of this rubble. And we got we got so much going on. I mean, you can't, my head, your head spins when you think about it. It's just too much. You could you you could take all day and, to try to cover it. <coughs> so anyway, I love you guys and I'll see you in the air this time. I'll see you, like, soon. All right.